Hello, it's Markham Matosh here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using Auto Rig Pro to rig this character. Now, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button, it really helps me out and keeps you updated with content. Um, this tool is available, there is a link down below to the Gumroad store. So what I'm going to do first off is everything is separated for this character. So we've got hair, we've got eyeballs, body, pants, shoes. I'm just going to select everything, and I'm going to have the body selected last. I'm going to click on Smart, Generate Selected Objects. Here we go. And now we go Add Neck, which is about, about here. Add Chin, Add Shoulders. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And the way I like to do it is grab pretty much this section here and try and get it in the middle. Because obviously this is where it's going to be kind of bending from. Add a wrist. It's fairly straightforward. Add the spine root, which I always put in just out the back here, um, pretty much in line with the belt, maybe even a little bit further up. Add ankles. It's fairly straightforward. And I will as well do a facial setup. So let's go facial setup. And now we just come in and, whoops, turn off proportional editing. I'm just going to put these where they need to be. Be. So I'm kind of just following this eye hole, <laughs> however you want to put it. And we're just going to come around here. Eyebrows are about here. It would have helped if I had applied the texture, but that's fine. Cool, 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 cool. Mouth. So I normally go along the ridge here and right in the corner of the mouth. There we go. And this one comes to about here. This is kind of like uh, the smiling region. And we do that as well. And so now we've got all this. What I will do now is... I thought I had to select the eyeballs somewhere. There might be something else. There it is. Eyeballs. So if I go CC eyes... And now we just press go. And so now we've got our character rigged. Well, no, we, no, we don't. We've got the rig created. So we can see if we come in here, we can actually see everything seems to have stuck quite nicely. I will now go select all and select the bones last, which we've got at the moment. And we are going to select match to rig. Okay. So now we can see that everything pretty much lined up quite nicely. We can see on the ring, the fingers here, that's all lined up. Um, but still, we haven't assigned this to the mesh. So once again, let's go into object mode. Let's select everything. Our rig is selected last. Let's come up into skinned, skin, and we're going to press bind. So that took quite some time. So if I go into pose mode, and if we go into select the hips, we can see we're moving around, which is lovely. Look, he's skiing. Uh, from here, this is all working. Lovely jubblies. Look at this foot roll. Very nice. Let's check out. What's, let's have a look how the face looks. So if I go G, see it's not too bad. We've got a little bit of artifacts up here. But I mean, that's all stuff that we can fix up manually. <laughs> um, but as you can see, uh, we've got the teeth, so we'll probably have to go back in and fix the teeth. Um, if I select this one, G, there we go. So we can see <laughs> that we've got this. But what we can do here is, for instance, if we come into back into object mode, let's select the body, come into the object data. We gotta find our vertex group, which will be, I'm gonna say like jaw up, maybe. Let's have a look, I'm trying to find jaw up. How about we sort this by name? And where are we? Oh no, sorry. This one is head. So head X, and if we come into edit mode, what I'm gonna do is, oh look, we gotta actually select the teeth. So I'm gonna select the teeth. And what we'll do is let's hide this, which is scary looking. 
I'm going to select that and I'm going to remove from all groups. Okay, so this doesn't exist on any group. I'm going to come in and just press C and let's just select all these. Control L, beautiful. Let's come around. C. Control L, beautiful. And now what we want to do is we want to go find the head, which was down here somewhere. Oops, let's sort that by name because I was on the body before. We will find head, assign. And what I'm going to do now is control I and that'll invert our selection. And we will need to find, I'm going to say jaw maybe, jawbone. Here we go, assign. So now if I press tab and go into object mode, look at that. Our face is back. I mean, our teeth look fine. So alt H to unhide. <laughs> there we go. That's how good Auto Rig Pro is. Um, there's a, quite a few more features that you can do as well, but you can see just how quickly I was able to rig this character and actually be getting good results very fast. Wah, 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 wah. So once again, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with content. And if you want a copy of Auto Rig Pro, there's a link in the description.